Once upon a time, that if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes king. Oh. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. The birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. I asked for a poison apple. I'm making spaghetti bolognese. Want to hear the rest of the story? It has a happy ending. Not everything in life does, but fairy tales do. That's what's great about them. But if you don't want to hear it... Okay, have a seat. Well, as you can imagine, the animals were all very sad about what had happened to the lovely Elizabeth. was always so kind to us. Hey, who's that cat that just arrived? That's Prince John's cat, I think. <laughs> Prince John's cat? I've always admired him. He's so wonderful. Uh, where'd he go? He's inside the cottage. Hmm. Sorry. I smelled the spaghetti bolognese and I had to have a taste. <laughs> oh, and they could use uh, just a touch of basil. <laughs> Maybe Elizabeth is just asleep. But she snores way more dainty. They quickly discussed what they had to do. It was the beautiful lady cat who came up with the answer. We have to get him to a wizard. Where are you going to find the wizard at this hour? Oh, oh, I know where there's a wizard near here who's open 24 hours. Well then, let's get in there. Through the forest they raced, raced to the dwelling of Merle, the all-night we never close wizard. It looks like the spaghetti of doom. My wife used to make that. You've got to help him, oh great wizard. You just have to. I can't help him. But you can. Ooh. He sleeps the sleep of magic. I can only be awakened by a kiss from one who loves him. Judging by the concern on your face, I would say that's you. You mean, just kiss him? <laughs> ah, give it a shot. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Is there any more of that great spaghetti? Wow, it hurt! <laughs> <laughs> Not only did they wake up the superb cat, but they learned something else. Is that how to awaken our friend Elizabeth? Indeed! A kiss from a true love is all that is required. And I know who her true love is. Come on, let's go get Prince John. <laughs> doing here? We just heard terrible news. Yes, this bluebird tells us that the Viceroy has locked Prince John in the tower. Huh? Huh? He can't do that. Mm. We need Prince John to kiss Elizabeth and awaken her. And then he needs to marry her so he can be king and stop that evil man. Oh, <laughs> But the wise cat knew there was only one answer to the problem. We are! Everybody, follow me! And so all the animals went off to rescue Prince John and also save the fair Elizabeth. As they marched towards the castle, others joined in, animals who'd been befriended over the years by Elizabeth. While at the castle, the evil Viceroy had decided not to wait to seize power. Guards, from now on you are to address me as your highness and follow orders. Is that clear? Yes, yes your, your highness. highness. But you aren't king until tomorrow. And only if Prince John doesn't marry. Ha! How can he marry? He 
He's in the tower prison, and the one woman who he'd marry is sleeping for all eternity. I'm taking the throne now. <laughs> Your Highness, there's an army marching on the castle. An army? An army of barbarians? An army of pirates? It seems to be an army of squirrels and cats and dogs and chickens. <laughs> Just keep the gate locked. We have nothing to fear from squirrels and cats and dogs and chickens. While up in the tower... It is no use. Even if I could escape from the cell, Elizabeth will not marry me. Sure she would. She's crazy about you. Uh, she is? Sure. She thinks you're even cuter than I am, and that's real cute. You just need to convince her you're brave and good. I am, but how do I prove it to... What's that commotion? The prince had no idea what was going on, and the rescue party didn't have much more of one either. How do we get inside the castle? Yeah, the gate is locked. I know. Huh? I'll dig us a tunnel inside. <laughs> how long will that take? Oh, not more than a oh. month or two. We don't have time for that. Leave it to me. Stop them! Stop those animals! Somebody kiss me? We have a nice project yeah, for you to try it out. Wow. My friends have taken over the whole castle. Do you think somebody's going to rescue oh. us? Consider yourself rescued. Okay. Not you. <laughs> Uh, we gotta get out of here. I'm going to take the tax money I've collected so far and flee! Uh, we're, we're with, with you. you! It looked like the bad guys were gonna escape with all the money the evil viceroy had stolen from the people of the city. <laughs> <laughs> the viceroy, his aide, and the wicked witch fled in terror of the dragon. <laughs> Turn the catapult so it faces the castle. You want to get away from the dragon? Quick, use the catapult. Get right in and I'll fling you to safety. Thank you. <laughs> All comfy now? Good. <laughs> huh? No, we're not to the happier ever after part yet. We still have to wake up the fair Elizabeth and get her to marry Prince John, remember? Oh. Uh -huh. 
After that, it was pretty simple. Prince John kissed Elizabeth. She woke up and realized who had saved her. Oh, you, Prince John. Aww. And all these animals. He was willing to fight a fire-breathing dragon for you. For me? <laughs> it seems you do have heart and courage. Then will you honor me by joining your heart to mine in marriage? But of course. <laughs> we'll be happy together, truly birds of a feather. Having someone who cares answered my prayers. We will be happy, happy, we'll be so happy. If they put us on trial, we'll be gone for a while. We'll be your home. I once wore the crown. Now you're going down. And together on the way. Wish good times upon ya. Lots of pie and lasagna. We will be happy, 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 so happy. We'll be happy together. Well, at least they finally picked out a good color for me. <laughs> but apart from that, everyone lived happily ever after. Hey, look. The prince and the fair Elizabeth are home. I, I mean, John and Liz. Garfield, did you eat our picnic? Must be time for lunch or dinner or some meal. So, did you like the story, boy? You guys just love it when we come up here to the farm and stay with my brother. I want to go home. There's the sun, the air, the great outdoors. I want to go home. What more could anyone want? TV, oh. pizza delivery, air conditioning, an internet connection, my own bed, and not being woken up at 5 a.m. by a stupid rooster. I want to go home. <laughs> I just wish Doc Boy didn't work so hard. Don't call me Doc Boy. You know what he needs? A companion. You know what I need? To go home. But I think you're working too hard. You're low too much. Doc Boy always works like that. Have I mentioned that I want to go home? I want to go home. Look, Garfield, I know you're bored. Here, huh? take my cell phone. There are plenty of games on there and you can access the internet. Maybe it'll keep you busy. I want to go home. Don't you ever do anything but chores? Not now, John. Can't you see I'm busy? I was trying to say that maybe you need a woman in your life. I don't have time for a woman in my life. I have a farm to run. Care for an omelet? <laughs> you should have someone at your side. Someone to share the pleasures and trials of life. <laughs> Where will I find someone? I work from dawn till dusk and I live in the middle of nowhere. <gasps> oh. P. 
pizza. Gloria, you usually deliver packages, and I didn't order any pizzas. <laughs> no, but I have a strange hunch who did. Garfield, did you use my cell phone to order those from Vito's? Yes, and I still want to go home. So, how are you, Mr. Arbuckle? Busy. I have to slop hogs. Say, have you seen that new monster movie at the drive-in? It's still playing if you have it. Oh. Watch this. He'll blow it. I don't have time for monster movies. I have corn to pick. I told you. Bye. Oh. You want the crusts? <laughs> mm. Too bad there aren't going to be any. <laughs> Here, I was kidding. By the way, I still want to go home. I'm telling you, she's interested in you. Oh. She's the rush around express driver. She's interested in picking up packages and delivering packages. It's not natural to live your life alone. Life is meant to be shared. You know what the three most wonderful words are in the entire world? Let's go home. John, could we discuss this after I plow the North 40? <gasps> uh. Huh. Uh. Garfield, we need to pack. Oh. We're packed. <laughs> I don't want to stay here and watch my brother spend his life picking apples alone. <laughs> Hello? John, it's your brother. Sorry to wake you up at this hour. When you were here, you said something about the three most wonderful words in the world. But you didn't say what the words were. I love you. Well, I love you too, John. But what are the three words? Ah, I get it. Talk to you in the morning. <sighs> I love you. Yeah, that might be nice to hear once in a while. I'll get it. Of course you will. Oh, Doc Boy. I thought about what you said. You're right. I need a woman in my life. <laughs> Excellent! And the best place to find one is in the city. I had my friend Elmer drop me off, and he's going to be watching my farm for me. I'm going to stay with you until I find the love of my life. Yo, and, <laughs> and don't, don't call, call me you Doc, Doc Boy, Boy, right. He said that as long as he's staying with us, he insists on cooking. Here you go, a nice healthy farm dish. Dandelion and wheatgrass soup. <laughs> ah. To grow proper rutabagas, you need well-prepared soil in a sheltered area with full sun. That's good to know. You don't mind me watching my farm programs, do you? Uh, no. Good, because there's a five-hour special on later about different kinds of shovels. <laughs> we have to help that man meet someone so we can get Doc Boy out of here. <laughs> See you later, John. I'm going to town. Hi there. Gee, I seem to have lost my Nobel Peace Prize somewhere around here. Oh, no. He's just gonna walk up to strangers and try to strike up a conversation? Huh? You're asking what could happen? Oh, well, I have several more at home. Say, I was wondering if... <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> you can't just approach strangers like that. It's rude. Oh, wait. Oh. This is promising. He's figuring out that there may be something wrong with that just fell off the tractor look. <laughs> He's going in to buy himself a new outfit. Odie, this is great. <laughs> 
Hey, that's not a bad outfit if you want to look like Binky the Clown. Anyone out there remember Binky? Yeah, I didn't think so. 7 foot tall lady wrestler age 70 who plays the bagpipes seeking male any age who enjoys watching Bread Ghost Tale. Hmm, not for me. Excuse me, miss. May I hold your fine dog for you while you tie your shoelace? Why, that would be very nice of you. Here. Keep a good grip on him. He gets very upset if he sees a cat. Hey, she's actually talking to him. Oh, that's a good sign. Mustn't chomp the kitty. <laughs> Give me that. Hey, wait. Would you like to go out with me sometime? <sighs> Hi, Garfield. I'm not doing so well with women. I need a magic potion that will make them like me. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. This guy doesn't get it. There are no magic potions. It's just a matter of people liking each other. Hey. Huh? Try Philippe's cologne. Makes men irresistible to women. Sounds like just what I need. <laughs> that kind of thing never. One whiff of this, and the ladies will love me. What is that wonderful smell? Is it you? It's it's you. What is that fragrance? Oh, you smell so divine! Ladies, please, I'm from the farm. Don't get too excited. Please, ladies, I'm outnumbered. There you are, you wonderful smelling creature. You're mine, all mine. Yes, I'm yours, all yours. Let's go out to dinner some night. Where would you like to go? Anywhere that I can smell you. Oh, Henry. What are you doing with my girlfriend? I'm really sorry you couldn't find your soulmate, Doc Boy. Maybe you need to give it more than one day. Huh, or maybe I'm just meant to be alone. And don't call me, you know. Gloria, what brings you here? I didn't call for a pickup. We have a date, remember? A date? Yes, you send me these gorgeous flowers with the nurse's card. Dear Gloria, please accept these modest flowers. Would you go out with me tonight to see that monster movie at the drive-in? Oh, I thought you'd never ask me. But, but I, I, well, I... Garfield, huh? did you use my cell phone to order flowers for Gloria and compose that cheesy invite? <laughs> nice work. You see, Odie? You don't have to go out and find happiness. You just have to be willing to let it find you. Whoa, that was deep, wasn't it? Oh, Garfield, almost uh -huh. forgot. Here's your delivery. <laughs> and of course, there are other ways of finding happiness.
Hello and welcome to a very special Garfield cartoon. It's special because huh? it's not about Garfield. What? Who well, is isn't about me? It's about Mrs. B Ferret. Mrs. Ferret? Her? That's right. A lot of viewers have been asking about her. They want to know who she is. She's a ferret who gets way too excited. They want to know where she came from. I ask myself that every time she's on the show. And they might want to hear what happened last week. Oh, yeah, that might make a good episode. Okay. All right, then. It all started one day when someone brought a house pet to Liz's veterinary clinic. We got her about a week ago. She seems... Very <laughs> active. Uh-huh, ferrets are like that. Ferrets sleep most of the day, but when they're awake, they burn up energy at an amazing rate. This is an animal that must be fed constantly with several meals a day. Are you sure she isn't talking about me? Uh, I'd like her to have a complete checkup. Fine. Just come back tomorrow around this time and pick her up. <laughs> Fine. And make sure you come back for her, hmm? You'd be amazed how many people abandon unwanted pets here. Oh, I wouldn't think of abandoning that cute, adorable ferret. Bye. I got rid of her. Quick, Rebecca, let's get out of here and move to another country. Within a week or two, it became apparent the ferret's owner was not coming back for her. So Liz let someone else adopt Mrs. Ferret. <gasps> My children will absolutely adore her. Nine hours later... You take this monster back! The next day, someone else adopted Mrs. Ferret. Huh, what a great pet she'll make. Eh? <laughs> You take this creature back right now. Oh. Ah! This is the worst pet I ever had. Oh. Take her back. You didn't think she was cute? No. Oh. Mister, hmm? can you imagine what it's like to have a pet huh? that is either sleeping or demanding to be fed? Oh, no. I can't imagine what that would be like. Well, I'm gonna go get a pet that will be a lot more like a slug. I don't know what to do about her, John. I can't leave her here in the clinic overnight. She has to be fed every two hours. Well, take her home with you. I can't. Huh? You know about my new landlord and pets in the building. Could you keep her at your house? Sure, no problem. I was watching my favorite TV show. I, your ambassador of edibles, Eddie Gorman, <laughs> will be sharing recipes. I have 112 ways to I can't to watch a food show without barbecue. food. 300 ways to fix luscious dinners. But then I remembered something. When Mrs. Fair was asleep, she wasn't eating, which meant I could get food. Shh. I had to pick out the quietest food so as not to wake Mrs. Fair. I finally decided that marshmallows were quiet. <laughs> Oh, you ate my marshmallow. <laughs> you ate all the fruit. Oh. Oh. You ate the turkey John roasted for dinner tonight, tomorrow night, and the night after. Oh, I'm a ferret. I have to eat to keep up my energy. Hey, I eat a lot of food, but at least I leave something for somebody else. Huh? Well, at least I occasionally leave something for somebody else. <sighs> Here you go, Garfield. A nice hot bowl of your favorite soup. Oh, boy. Cream of lasagna. Sorry. Tune in for tomorrow's show when we're going to put tons of whipped cream all over. Everything! Oh, 
cream. I love whipped cream more than anything else in the world. <laughs> Odie, the time has come to find a new home for Mrs. Ferret. So Garfield decided he had to do something. He printed out ads that asked people if they wanted to adopt a ferret. Then he posted the ads all over the neighborhood. Someone's got to be dumb enough to take her off our hands. Well, it turned out someone was apparently dumb enough. So she's a neighbor, and she called and says she wants Mrs. Ferret. That's great, John, if you think she'll provide a good home. Oh, she's a very nice lady with a son who's very well behaved. I'll take Mrs. Ferret over there right now. And that's just what he did. Oh, this is wonderful. <gasps> My son will be so happy with his new little playmate. Unfortunately, the son was... Nathan, the youngest, nastiest mad scientist in the fourth grade. Nathan was working on a super grow ray. This will finally enable me to rule the world! Nathan, <gasps> I have a surprise for you. Just what I need in order to conquer the planet! <laughs> I mean, oh, what a great animal to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, Nathan was ready to unleash his new invention. Here it goes. Time at all, Mrs. Ferret had grown to the height of an apartment house. <laughs> A large apartment house. <laughs> and of course, as she grew, so did her need to eat. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. Mrs. Ferret is no longer a big problem. Huh? It turned out Mrs. Ferret was still a big problem. The biggest! As her appetite grew, she switched from trees to cars. And from cars to houses. Panic was growing across the city. The cat realized it was up to him to come up with a brilliant plan. I'm not sure why you thought that, Garfield. Because this is the Garfield show. I have to save the day, and I did. I came up with a brilliant plan. Tune in for tomorrow's show, when we're going to put tons of whipped cream all over everything. So I remembered something she said. I love whipped cream more than anything else in the world. Ah, uh, I had a three-step plan. Mm -hmm. Step one. Go to the TV station and borrow all the whipped cream Eddie Gourmand was going to use tomorrow. Uh! Step two, cover the house where Nathan lives with whipped cream. Step three, tell Mrs. Ferret about the lovely Sunday we made for it. Hey. <laughs> whipped cream. I love whipped cream more than anything else in the world. Unless they make me ruler of the world, I'll unleash an army of giant ferrets. Hey! What's going on? Nathan realized that she was going to eat the entire house and he was in that house. So the only thing that could stop him from becoming fair food was to reverse the ray. Oh, 
what has that boy done now? <gasps> I warned him. Oh, the next time he destroyed our house, he wasn't going to get his allowance for three whole weeks. Ouch! <gasps> oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> you saved me. And here I thought you didn't even like me. You thought right. <gasps> well, it's not that. Oh, it's just that whenever I'm awake, I'm eating. Well, I can't help that. I wish someone would adopt me. Someone who eats the way I do. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Odie. Mrs. Ferret, I think I have the perfect master for you. I was going to put whipped cream on things today, but someone borrowed my whipped cream to spread on a house. Can you believe that? <laughs> but I do want to introduce you to my new little friend, Mrs. Ferret. Mrs. Ferret sleeps most of the day, then eats everything all at once, just like me. I think Mrs. <sighs> Ferret finally has a home. That was a great idea, guys. Today, I want to discuss the best way to eat watermelon. <laughs> no, keep it away from your pet ferret. But it was a great idea, and Garfield was pretty happy after that. Getting rid of Mrs. Ferret meant he got his living space back and could eat what he wanted, when he wanted. And there's something even better than that. The next episode, it'll be all about me. Gee, I was hoping it would be all about me. Not a chance. The most important meal of the day. Unless you count lunch, afternoon snacks, evening snacks, midnight snacks, 1.30 in the morning snacks, 1.45 in the morning snacks. Garfield, if you damage my brand new smartphone, I'll be very angry. Smartphones are great. You can listen to music, take pictures, make movies, surf the internet. And who knows, maybe one day they'll do important things, like make lasagna. <laughs> Cody chasing his tail. This could be a sensation on the internet. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. Let's check it out. <laughs> I'm going to post the video I just shot online for the entire world to enjoy. Oh, and they will. They will. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> wow. My video of John has had almost a million hits in 20 minutes. Have you guys huh? seen my phone? <gasps> nope. Uh -huh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> It's got to be around here someplace. Phew, you almost blew it, Odie. How do I get rid of this pooch for a while? Hey, Odie, wanna play fetch? See this? Fetch! Uh, this should keep him busy until halfway through the next episode. Now, I need a new John video for the internet. 
please, John, do something stupid. Oh, come on, John, please do something stupid. Better start making dinner. Gotcha! This is great. I gotta get away from here. I'm gonna take a drive. This has not been a very good day. And cut. Ooh, I have to get this on the internet right away. Yes! Hello? Oh, hi, Liz. John, have you been having a bad day? As a matter of fact, yes. How did you know? Well, turn on the TV and watch the news. Oh, and are we still having dinner in a little while at Vito's? Of course. If you just tuned in, here are some videos of silly accidents that were posted on the internet earlier today. <laughs> They're called the, the Arbuckle Chronicles! And they've had more than 50 million hits in the last 12 hours! <laughs> you did this, Garfield, and you did it with my smartphone. Huh? Don't deny it, and give me back my smartphone. <laughs> uh, oh, you want to play games, huh? I am dialing the number of my smartphone. <coughs> wow. Now, how did that get in there? Huh? You think this is funny, don't you? Mm. <laughs> I will deal with you later. Right now, I have to go meet Liz for dinner. Oh, John was so upset. I've never seen him so angry. I wish I had a video of it to post. Come on, let's follow him. Hey, isn't that the silly man we saw on the internet? It sure is. <laughs> Hope your car doesn't fall apart again. <laughs> <laughs> John Arbuckle. Oh, I want to thank you. Thank me? For what? For what? For what? Because of your videos. I am no longer the biggest laughing stock on television. And I gotta tell you, boy, I thought I'd look stupid. And then I saw your videos. I know what stupid is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall off the chair, John. Here's your menu. Better decide what kind of food you're gonna spill on yourself. <laughs> oh, 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 Signor Arbuckle, welcome. And uh, my brother in Rome says to say hello. Your brother in Rome knows me? He's the one who sent me the link to your hilarious videos. <laughs> he said everyone in Italy is laughing at you. <laughs> I mean, at uh, uh, them. No, they're <laughs> laughing at me. Uh, let me go get you some minestrone. Excuse me, are you the clumsy, dumb guy in the Arbuckle Chronicles videos? Yes. Oh, you look so stupid in them. Would you do the skateboard routine again for us? Oh, oh yes, yes, do it! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I've had enough of this. I'm leaving. <laughs> you people.
people should be ashamed of yourself, laughing at someone else's misfortune. Now, I like a joke as much as the next guy, but there's nothing funny about accidents, about people falling down and possibly hurting themselves. There's nothing funny. I think this has gone too far, Odie. Ooh, I have to put this right. I mean, despite being rather dumb, John is a very nice owner and a good provider. He doesn't deserve this. And I think I know how to fix this. You wait here. I need something. Huh? Oh, yeah. Cats just don't get any better looking than this. Hey, Nermo. I'm on my way to audition for a flea collar commercial. After all, I am the cutest kitty cat in the whole wide world. Well, too bad you're not the most famous. What do you mean? I'm not the most famous. You're not very famous. You're not even as famous as John. John? John, the guy who feeds you? He's not famous. You think so, huh? Listen to the buzz on the street. Have you heard the latest on John Arbuckle? Arbuckle, that's the John name. John Arbuckle. Yes. Arbuckle. No, Arbuckle. How did John get to be so famous? I put him in one of my videos. Millions of people see them. Wow, millions of people? Garfield, could you put me in one of your videos? Huh? <laughs> could you, could you, could you? Well, I might find a way to use you. Just leave everything to me. <laughs> John Arbuckle's 15 minutes of fame are already history. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. A new internet sensation has taken the world by storm. <laughs> Normal the dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> 120 million hits in the last 24 hours. <laughs> Brace yourself. I laughed so hard, I broke a rib. <laughs> 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 Poor Normal. On the other hand, everyone's forgetting about me. <laughs> Hi, Normal. Ready to shoot another video for the internet? Are you out of your tree, Garfield? You made me look ridiculous. You made me look like an idiot. I will never in a million years be in one of your videos. Okay, have it your way. Come on, Odie, I'll make you look dumb instead. Hmm? Hmm. Ugh, I can't believe Garfield. Imagine thinking I'd be in another one of his videos after what he did to me. Abigail, isn't that the cat in the video? It is. It's normal. Normal, we love you in that video. You do? We sure do. Oh, that's normal. Where? Oh, hey, normal. Hey, normal. 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 Come on, do something stupid, Odie, like trip or fall in the mud, anything. Yeah, it's no use, it's just too boring. Don't stop shooting, Garfield! Woo! I'll be in your video, see? I have a stupid hat on, and I'll fall in the mud, watch. Oh, and then maybe I could fall out of a tree. Oh, oh, or I'll put on clown makeup or get my feet Normal my thinks he's hey, the most famous oh, cat in the world. Oh, oh. But let's what not forget uh, whose name is on this show. Another show to be on. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. 
Well, that's it for me. I'll tell you what, the benefit is safe. I don't care. You think I care? Well, I don't care. See? But you'll all be in big trouble. Because I'm going to report you all to Jim Davis. The nerve of those people. Could we have some dialogue from time to time, please? Don't they know whose show this is? Whose name is in the title? Does it say the Eddie Gourmand show at the beginning? I don't think so. Ooh. Hello? Anybody here? Stage manager? Director? Writers? Hello? Everybody's deserting me today. There isn't even any background music. Oh. Well, at least they left me a script for this week. The Big Discovery. Eh, already I don't like it. Note to self, remember to fire the writers. Okay, let's see here. Fade in exterior Arbuckle House day. John doing something. New character. Eh, I'm sick of new characters. When do I get to be on my show? Oh, here I am. We find Garfield curled up in bed, sound asleep. <laughs> First good idea they've had. <sighs> Maybe a short dream sequence will help. I don't need... Oh, I could do the show all by myself. I could play all the parts. I could do the show. I don't need those guys. I don't need anyone. Oh, oh, one, one. No, I will not fetch the stick. Can you believe we paid someone to write that? There is absolutely nothing in this world that could get me out of bed today. Oh, Garfield. I'm going out for a while. My nieces Drusilla and Minerva are coming by for a visit. Arf, arf. Nothing in this world, not even John's nieces. <laughs> John's nieces! <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Uncle John! Uncle John! I don't think he's here, Minerva. I keep telling you. I'm Drusilla, you're Minerva. <laughs> oh, right. And we're here to play with the... <gasps> Kitty cat! Bring in the kitty cat! Bring in the kitty cat! Please stay away from the kitty cat! Please stay away from the kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Don't fear me Kitty cat! Ah, those won't keep them out. I need something large to barricade the door. Bed? This refrigerator? Elephant! I can't eat yet! You don't understand, Agnes. This cat does terrible things to me. Well, for instance, he just dropped a bed on me. Ah! And a refrigerator. Ah! And of course, an elephant. I, 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 do me a favor. There are two little girls chasing me. Distract them while I get away. Will you do that for me? Ah! Elephant! Ah! Let's style his trunk. We need to moisturize him. Ignis, I'm coming home. This episode's starting to get a little bit silly. I think I did it. I think I got away from him. I must have. I'm not in ladies' clothing. I'm safe. Hi, Garfield. I'm not safe. Normal. That's right. It's me, Normal. The cutest kitten on this or any other planet. I think I dropped the elephant on the wrong person. Sorry! Do you have a reason for being here, Normal? Or did you just come by to tell me how cute you are? I just came by to tell you how cute I am. Okay, at least he's being honest. 
Excuse me, but I'm a very important, powerful agent from Hollywood. I just saw you standing here, and I couldn't help but notice how incredibly handsome and adorable you are. Naturally. No, not you. I meant the other one. I've never seen a handsomer face than that. You're beautiful. Nah, <laughs> you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. No, no, I'm beautiful. Take a look at this. No, I don't think so. Would you mind if I made you a fabulously rich and famous TV star? Well, as long as I'm home in time for dinner. Not a problem. We need a truly beautiful animal for a new commercial. We'll be doing a screen test, and if you're the one, you'll be fabulously rich and famous. It's not fair! It's not fair, I tell you! <laughs> Put me on TV! Put this face on TV! I have to get that screen test for myself and beat Garfield out to become fabulously rich and famous! Okay, so uh, what do I do? Well, just do what you do huh? best. Fine. Eating or sleeping? I have to go scout more talent, but the director will take care of you. And remember, you're beautiful, baby. Nah, you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. Okay, have it your way. I'm beautiful. Um, what do I do now? Mr. Director! Here I am, Garfield. No, we'd just like to see you do a little dance for us. Oh, sure, um... How's this? Fine, fine. Now, uh, turn around. <laughs> oh, if he gets his job, I won't be able to stand it. I have to do something. Very good, Herbal. Now, uh, for the next part of your screen test. <laughs> He's done. Now it's time for my screen test. Put the camera on me. Let it show how awesome I am. Normal, this is my screen test. I uh, think we have what we need on you, Garfield. We'll test this cat now. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Normal cat, starve tomorrow. Uh, give me a second, Normal. I'll be right back. My awesomeness, and I will be waiting, Mr. Director Person. <laughs> All right, Nermal. I want you to do everything I say. Okay, ready. Lift up your left foot. Lift up your right foot. Fall down and go boom. No. Get up. Stand on your head. Stand on your feet. Quack like a duck. Oh, quack, quack. Eat a pint of yogurt. Boogie till you drop. Do a push-up. One. <laughs> Collapse from exhaustion. <laughs> That's great, great normal. <laughs> you tricked me, Garfield. Well, I don't care. I'm going to get this job. No, you're not. I'm going to be fabulously rich and famous, and I'm going to get this job. I'm a lot more adorable than you are, and more talented, and I'm cuter in every way, and everyone says so. You're not as awesome as you think you are, Nermal, and I'm going to mail you to Abu Dhabi again, you annoying cat. Hey, guys, guys, you got to stop arguing. Which, Which one, one is going to get the job? the job? Neither what? one of you. I found an animal more adorable than both of you put together. Show them what you can do, Jumbo. I'm gonna make that elephant fabulously rich and famous. So, what do you think? I think huh? we need to learn that. Right. And a one, and a two. <gasps> Whoa, what a dream sequence. And I really like the cast. <gasps> That's the answer. I really don't need anybody else. I'll play all the roles from now on. Maybe I can even play the elephant's part. First, I'll play myself. That's not much of a stretch. Snore, snore, snore. Then I'll play Odie. And then, John. I'll play John. Garfield, I want you to behave yourself. This is how I behave. If you don't behave, no lasagna for you. You can't mean it. I do mean it. And I can play Vito, too. Ah, uh, Senor Arbuckle, I have a nice hot pizza for your pussy gato. Oh, smells great. What's on it? <laughs> it's just what you asked for. A Vito special with the anchovies. 
Anchovies? I didn't want anchovies. You asked for the anchovies. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did. I can't do this. I can't do this all by myself. Too many Noahs and yeses and stuff. I need others on my show. I need Odie. <laughs> yes, I need you, Odie. Yes, and I need you, John. We all decided to come back, Garfield. And I need you. And I need you. And I need you. <laughs> no, not you. But I really need you without the anchovies. Ah, no anchovies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, everyone, I, I've learned my lesson. I'll give you all lines on the show. I'll share the spotlight. I'll even see about paying some of you. Can you ever forgive me? No. Oh, God. Oh, you so 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 Thank you so much. Hey, Garfield, how about sharing that pizza with us? I'd like to be yeah. that Are you out of your minds? No, no. 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 get home in time for the news. They're running a story on my favorite topic, me. Oh, I just realized two bad things. One, we're not gonna make it in time. And two, I don't wear a watch. The whole town is talking huh? about the Cape Avenger. Wait, that's the story. <laughs> what? Yeah, hi, hello, uh, watching okay. this. And the mysterious feline vigilante known as the Cape Avenger has become an instant celebrity. Ever since his first dramatic appearance at this comic book store only weeks ago, this video of him capturing a thief has gone viral and is now the second most popular cat video on the internet. The most popular, this video entitled The Cutest Cat in the Whole World. Meow, 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 meow. Huh? Huh? What happened to the TV? I think your singing killed it. <sighs> well, now we'll never hear the end of that news report. What? Rupert Dorf runs the comic book shop where the Caped Avenger appeared. How's business, Rupert? Great, people are flocking here, hoping to see him in person, and tomorrow the new Caped Avenger action figures arrive. <laughs> 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 Gee, I wonder who the Cape Avenger really is. <laughs> Shh! Don't give away my secret identity. Do you have a message for the Cape Avenger in case he's watching? Yeah, I hope he'll come to see all his fans tomorrow when his action figure goes on sale. I even built this Cape Avenger signal to call him. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> Well, I think the Cape Avenger is a big show off. Uh. I had to get me one of those spotlights. <laughs> I guess the Cape Avengers fans love everything about him. Yeah, but you know what they really like? They'd all wish he would have a sidekick. The sidekick? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. All the great comic book heroes have sidekicks. Even Ultra Powerful Man gets help from Jeff the Atomic Sparrow. Gee, where could I find a sidekick? Mm. He'd have to be strong. And serious. 
but with a sense of humor. Bodhi, you've given me a great idea. Yes, I'm gonna hold auditions. Really, Myron? Auditions? That's what I'm hearing. The Cape Avenger will be at the park having tryouts to be a sidekick. I'm gonna go see if he'll pick me. Oh, oh if the Cape Avenger gets a sidekick, he'll become more popular. His video might even be more watched than mine. What am I gonna do? Well, I think I'm gonna make a Look, up there! Yes, it is I. Too good to be true. Too strong to be beaten. Huh? Too fat to be on this branch. <laughs> it's not me, it's the cape. It adds about 10 pounds. Uh, ouch! <laughs> Hello, aspiring sidekicks. I suppose you all know who I am. You're the Cape Avenger! Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Yes, and I am here today to find a faithful sidekick to assist me in my heroic activities. Well, I didn't think of that. Choose me! Choose me! A super chihuahua. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I can be a superhero! Stop laughing at me! <laughs> Now then, being a superhero isn't easy. You spend your days chasing dangerous criminals, falling from buildings, dodging atomic ray blasts. You spend your nights risking your life and limb every second. Oh, it gladdens my heart to see so many of you willing, even eager to put your lives on the line. Huh. Hey, uh, what is this job pay? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. Bye. Huh? Huh? No, you're not sidekick material. Goodbye. And don't bother leaving a picture or resume. Why is the Kate Avenger so popular? Just because he's got a cool costume and a cool name. I can't wait to get that Cape Avenger action figure tomorrow. Let's go watch his video ten more times. He is, like, so cool. And I am, like, so sick of that video of the disgustingly cute kitten. Oh, what am I going to do? I know. The only one who could beat a superhero is a supervillain. I'll become a supervillain. <laughs> hey, Hercules. Why so glum? Oh, they all laughed at my beautiful costume. I just wanted to be the Cape Avenger sidekick. Hmm. How would you like to be the sidekick to the supervillain who will defeat the Caped Avenger? Oh, do I get to wear my superhero costume? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm closing up for the night, Gunther. I'm expecting a big crowd tomorrow. The Caped Avenger action figures arrive and I'm... Call you later, Gunther. There's something outside I gotta go investigate. Oh. 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 Are you still upset I didn't pick you? I need a great sidekick. The Cape Avenger can't look foolish. The Cape Avenger is looking pretty foolish huh? today. What? Rupert, you say the Cape Avenger has a new arch enemy. It seems that way. I spotted them outside my store. And when I checked the Cape Avenger signal I made, this is what I found. <gasps> the Cape Avenger signal. It makes me look ridiculous. Huh? <laughs> uh, Odie, I have to find that supervillain and stop him. Now is when I really need a sidekick. Will you be my sidekick? Oh, please, please. All right, all right. I shouldn't have turned you down yesterday. We'll get you a great costume. Good. Let's leap into action. And people are lined up for blocks awaiting the arrival of the new Caped Avenger action figures. The action figures seem to be arriving now. Perfect timing. 
This is going to be a great day for my comic book store. Twenty cases of Cape Avenger action figures. Sign here. You deal with the mailman, Super Chihuahua. Right. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. The only thing worse than a Chihuahua, a masked Super Chihuahua. I'm getting rid of all these Cape Avenger action figures. Oh, oh no, oh. you're not. Yay! It's the Cape Avenger! Whoever you are, you're no match for me and my faithful sidekick, Slurp. And he seems to finally have his very own sidekick. Who? Oh. The Cape Avenger, and now he has a partner. I just decided I don't want to be a supervillain sidekick any longer. Adios! <laughs> Nothing will stop me from getting away with these action figures. Except maybe the fact that I don't know how to drive. Hmm. Oh, what if I push this? Come back, you masked fiend. <laughs> oh. Maybe this wasn't the best idea in the world. Hey! Nothing can stop me, Keith Avenger! How about if this van crashes into the trash collection center? Doggy tongue! And I suppose I have to save you too. Help! Help! Oh, this is not a cute way for me to go! Quick! Get a shot of that! And the superhero and supervillain landed amidst the crates of the Caped Avenger action figures, which, as it turned out, no one wanted to buy. All interest had shifted to the Caped Avenger's sidekick we caught on tape. We're told his name is Slurp, and his fans can't get enough of him. His online video is now the most watched ever, beating out that one of the sickening singing kitten and the one of the Caped Avenger. <laughs> Well, Cape Avenger may not care about being in first place, but I do. I'm taking my act to the streets. Want to join me? <laughs> sure. Why not? Meow, 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 Cooking. Oh, hi Garfield. Huh? You probably noticed I'm not cooking. What? <sighs> I will in a moment. It's just that sometimes I like to come out here and look at the stars. They're so peaceful. They're so beautiful. <gasps> look! You see that? 
It's a shooting star. Wow. You know what a shooting star is, Garfield? It's a meteoroid that's entering the Earth's atmosphere. Great, let's do dinner. That was terrific. I wish I'd been up at the observatory watching it through their big telescope. Dinner on the table. Dinner on the table. Dinner on the table. Professor Bonkers, did you see the shooting star? Yes, a meteor from the Beta Blue Space Quadrant. Oh. Oh. Radar says it was down to the size of a gumball and it landed in the North Hills. Beta Blue, you say? Some scientists claim that meteors from Beta Blue have regressive powers. Oh. They say anything that comes into contact with one is turned back into its prehistoric form. Yes, Gertrude. I'm hiking up here in the North Hills. It's very invigorating out here, and I'm having such a g <laughs> oh, I just found something odd, Gertrude. It's some sort of glowing rock. It's like a meteor or a... I was saying, Gertrude, it's very invigorating up here. Really, really brings out the caveman in you. I'm sorry I didn't cook dinner earlier last night, guys. Maybe lunch at Vito's will make up for it. Works for me. Oh, gum. I can't stand people who chew gum and just discard it and make a mess. Isn't that awful, Garfield? That's so rude. Away! Away, you get out of my restaurant, you pesky flies! Oh, all of you! Ah, Senor Arbuckle! Welcome to Vito's! Thanks, Vito! Whoa. Oh! Huh? Oh. Huh? Odie, come in and join us as soon as you get that gum off your paw! My cat will have the left side of the menu. <laughs> Excellent choice. Excuse me, waiter. There's a fly in my soup. Oh, one moment, senor. And the right side of the menu. One of our most popular sides waiter, of the menu. There's a fly in my soup. Un momento, senor. Uh, please. Anything else, Garfield? Oh, yes. The back of the menu. <laughs> One of my specialties. I still have this fly in my soup. Senor, can you not see I'm busy with another customer? Tell me, what is a big deal about a fly in your soup? Well, he is rather large. <laughs> can we make that order to go? Hey, Vito, do something! You need a swatter the size of a football field. I'm going to call for help. This is a Vito, a Vito's Pizzeria. I would like to report a monster. Thank you. They'll be here in two seconds. One, two... What took them so long? What's this monster you reported? It's a fly. All right. Huh? No, officer, it's a monster fly. It's huge and it has razor sharp teeth. And it could eat more than I can. Ah. I should run you all in. Huh? Huh? Next time, I'll just order a salad. 
I shall go prepare the left oh. side and the right side of the menu. Don't forget the back. That's the best part. Garfield, where's Odie? Huh? Odie! What? Odie! Here, boy! Hmm. I wonder where Odie went. We're being drenched in doggy drool. We need help. Help! Help! Super size slurp. Help! Help! Exactly what I said. Uh huh. I see. Okay, thanks. Now it's a giant <laughs> puppy dog. <laughs> Attention, all units. We have a report from a guy in Vito's Pizzeria. He claims that there's a big puppy dog outside. Puppy dog? Sounds like this is right up my alley as a dog catcher. <laughs> Well, I'm your landlord, and your lease says you can only keep a small dog in this apartment. This is not a small dog. <laughs> oh, cry all you want. I don't care. I'm a landlord. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay, you're right. It is a small dog. He hasn't licked you yet. Garfield, we have to figure out a way to get him out of the city. Uh, maybe into the countryside. I know. Throwing a stick so he can fetch it? But how will that... I get it. Great idea! How do you lose a mutt the size of a shopping mall? All units, let the puppy dog go! He's headed up to the North Hill! Ah, uh, North Hills, huh? What's the big deal catching a little puppy dog? Come out, little puppy dog, wherever you are. Here, boy. I don't see why the police were making such a big deal. Catching dogs is easy. They're small and harmless and hey! The other men didn't say anything about rain today. Help! Help! I'll never catch another dog again! Leave me alone! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
You see him, Garfield? Maybe we could lure him with a 10-ton doggy treat. Odie! I don't know what happened, but let's not worry about that now. Let's get him home. Hey, there's the truck of that dumb dog catcher who's always chasing us. Don't worry about him. He's too stupid to hurt you. He's a real Neanderthal. doesn't understand how much work it is to run a farm. Neither do I. What's so hard? Your farmhands plow the fields. All you have to do is feed the animals. Do you know what it's like to feed all those hungry mouths? Doc Boy, I feed Garfield and Odie. <coughs> well, you got a point there. And don't call me Doc Boy. Say, where is Garfield? <coughs> come on, come on. Drive me back to civilization. Garfield doesn't like it here on the farm. Anyway, I still say feeding animals is easy. And I still say you don't know what you're talking about. And I still say, let's go home! He works much harder than you think, John, and I still think you need to take a vacation. Well, one of these days. I'd better get Garfield home before. Here's your question, Garfield! Yoo-hoo! Get emergency order! Pizza! All right, we'll go home. Wait. Huh? I have some fighter pilots airlifting pastrami sandwiches. Come back Bye. soon. See you later. So long now. Now about that vacation. Oh. But who'd take care of the cows and the horse and the chickens and... You can find someone. You're right. I can, and I know who. Visiting my brother yesterday was fun. No cable TV. Oh, that farm of his is so cool. Roosters are crow at 5 a.m. And the air smells so great. If you like the smell of cow. Huh? Oh, I wonder who this is. Mm. He <gasps> Doc Boy, Gloria. Hello, John. And don't call him Doc Boy. Doc Boy and Gloria. See, even they couldn't stand it out on that farm. So I finally persuaded him to take a vacation. And I don't even know where we're going or when we'll be back. Hey, why don't we visit that relative of yours you told me about? Huh. Which one? Her name was Aunt something? <laughs> hey, Ivy! <laughs> yeah, I mentioned her. Don't worry, folks. She's not in this episode. It's safe to watch. So, who's going to take care of all your animals while you're away? Someone who said he thought it would be easy. Me? Oh, no. I don't have time to go up to your farmyard. Who said anything about taking care of them in my farmyard? <laughs> I don't like the nearness of that move. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't have put it any better myself. Doc Boy? Doc Boy? We left plenty of food and audio instructions on how to feed them. We'll see you when we get back from our vacation. <laughs> Whenever that is. <laughs> 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 
And don't call me Dog Boy. In a situation like this, there's only one thing to do. You with me, Odie? at a hotel until the animals are gone. Hmm. Oh, no! You're not running out on this. You're going to stay and help me take care of those animals until Dog Boy and Gloria get back. Whenever that is. We'll just keep the animals in the backyard. It won't be so bad. Unless, of course, it starts to rain. <sighs> you had to say that, didn't you? Come on. Let's get them inside. The weird part is, this is the cleanest this house has been in months. I don't think they left us nearly enough food. I'm going to run out and get some more before the store closes. Here, my brother left this CD called How to Feed Farm Animals. Play it and do as it says while I'm gone. If you don't feed them, I don't feed you. Good. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, let's see what this thing says. Hello. Welcome to How to Feed Farm Animals. Lesson one, chickens. Uh, Spread chicken feed evenly <laughs> on ground. All right, I'll try that. Supper time. Get your delicious chicken feed right here. Come on, what are you waiting for? Would you eat that? Probably. There's not a lot I won't eat. <laughs> try it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, Woo. we got to get you something better than that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Why do you have to do that? Because I just love to go cuckoo. It's in my soul. It's in my heart. <laughs> yeah, but it's also in my ears. I can't help myself. I have to go <laughs> Well, then I'll help you. Step right in here. Mm. Okay, let's see what's next. Feeding goats. Many people think goats eat tin can. This is not true. They merely like to lick the glue that is often used to put a label on a tin can. Oh, that's so good to know, Mr. Voice. Here, I know you don't really eat tin cans, but... What was in that when it was full? Spaghetti, I think. Oh, great. You get the spaghetti, I get the empty can. Well, now, wait a minute. Hey, you dropped something on the ground behind you. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh. <laughs> We've got to get you some better food, too. Feeding horses. Horses eat hay. Odie, bring the hay in here. <laughs> hey, it's your hay. I'm not eating that. You know what hay tastes like. It's dry. It's tasteless. It's, it's... Like John's meatloaf? Well, probably not that bad. Wait here. <laughs> Here, there's no food on earth that can't be made edible with enough ketchup. <laughs> bon appetit. Whoa. <laughs> My mistake. This isn't ketchup. It's ultra powerful hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but I'll make it up to you. I'm gonna give you guys some real food. Let's see, yesterday's macaroni, leftover Chinese food. So much better than Jim Cans. Yeah, this is so much better than what Dog Boy features on the farm. We're never gonna leave this house. Oh no, 
We can't keep them here, Odie. It's time to take drastic steps. More drastic than that. More drastic than that. Even more drastic than that. Oh, if there are any small children watching, they should look away from the screen. This could be really scary. I know I said Ann Ivy wasn't in this episode. I lied. Oh, John! John! I got your email inviting me to stay with you until Christmas after next. This is a This place looks like a barnyard. Even worse, it smells like a barnyard. Look at the feathers on that chicken. Look at the giblets on that turkey. Get that cow out of here. I'm lactose intolerant. Get that sheep out of here. I don't like wool. Tell that rooster if he doesn't shut up, he won't like what I'll cock a doodle do to him. But it's supposed to be our vacation. And it will be. But I'm worried about how my brother will take care of the animals. I just want to check and make sure they're okay. <laughs> oh, my animals! They're all running away! <laughs> come back! Come back! I'll take you all back to the farm! <laughs> problem solved. Oh, you're wondering about the bigger problem, the Aunt Ivy problem. I'm not staying in this Don't house worry. another minute. It smells like a barnyard and all the fur and feathers are... <laughs> hey, shoot! Picking up my allergies. I'm gonna stay in the most expensive hotel in town and charge it to John. Other problem solved. Now I have just one more thing to do. Remember the CD? I have to go online and find the guy who makes them. I have an idea. I don't know how you did it, Garfield. Doc Boy called and said he and all his animals are home safe on their farm, and he'll find a sitter for them before he takes a vacation. Good. Okay, here. Listen to this. The CD player? Something on here you want me to listen to? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to How to Feed Garfield Cat. Lesson mm -hmm. one, breakfast. <gasps> Garfield enjoys a modest breakfast, including waffles with syrup, fresh berries, hot coffee with sugar, cream, and more sugar, buttermilk pancakes, sausage patty, sausage flakes, eggs fried, eggs scrambled, eggs poached on top of other eggs, lasagna, whole cereal, hot cereal, butter toast, bacon, more bacon, lots more bacon. You gotta admit. <laughs> mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? I never saw him again. Do you think your friend could still be alive? You gotta go rescue that poor guy. Me? I've arranged for a local guide to drive us there. Her name is Angie. The Zabadoo's mine, you got that? Odie, no! Don't go near it! John, great to see you. I thought for sure I was a goner. But then, the oddest thing happened. The Zabadoo picked me up and carried me off. It carried me to this cabin, the one we're all in right now. It took me in here and bandaged my leg. And then, Whoa. just when I thought things couldn't get any weirder, it spoke to me. I set your broken leg. You're fortunate I used to be a doctor. The Zabadoo used to be a doctor? No, a doctor used to be the Zabadoo. His name was Sam, and he was a retired sergeant. Years ago, he came to this area on vacation. In fact, he was a hunter, but he didn't like that some hunters were hunting where they weren't supposed to. Oh. There's this local legend about a creature called the Zabadoo. 
I never believed for a minute there was such a creature, but I, I figured it... You figured if you made yourself a costume and dressed up as the Zabadu... I could scare them off, right? And that's what he did. He made a costume, and any time a hunter ventured where he wasn't supposed to... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Zabadoo! I'm sorry, Mr. Zabadoo! I'll never hunt this area again! I thought it was a great idea. And the animals around here liked it, too. He was such a wonderful man. I stayed around to help him out. When Sam passed away, I took it over. His cabin, his costume, his mission. That's wonderful, Lyman. A great thing you're doing, my friend. <laughs> here, I'll help you out. Blow that thing you call a nose. Good. I'm gonna go out to see if there's any lunch left in Angie's vehicle. Wanna come with me? Didn't come with me. So noble of you, protecting all these endangered animals. You make a great Zabadoo. Here, yeah, you didn't see the whole routine. I'm on constant patrol. And when I see a hunter where he shouldn't be... <laughs> boogie boogie. <laughs> 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 I got it, Buckley. I got photographic proof that the Zabadoo is a big fraud. If you publish that, you'll ruin the guy's whole routine here helping the animals. Yeah, but these pictures will be worth a fortune to that TV show. And besides, who cares about a lot of stupid animals anyway? Easy, boy. Hey, Mark, leave me alone! <laughs> Hey, cat! You give me back that camera! Nope. I don't think I'll do that. We've got to catch that cat! The photos in that camera are worth a fortune! Get off me, Mutt! What is it, boy? He won't get away from us! I'm determined! I'm willing to put your life on the line! You think so, Dick? That vehicle, it belongs to Dirk Dinkum. It looks like Odie wants us to follow him. <laughs> looks like there's a detour up ahead. The blood must have gone into that cave. <laughs> We've got him trapped. Got him! Good work, mate. Where's the camera? <laughs> This is great, just great. <laughs> oh, this is great, just great. <sighs> I'll take my camera back, cat. <laughs> Another stupid animal always causing trouble. Another stupid animal always causing trouble. <laughs> you know what I've got a hankering for? Rotisserie Mockingbird. Bye now. I really don't oh. like this guy. Hey, animals ain't so bad, Dinkum. Shut up, Buckley. Animals are only good for two things. Wearing them and eating them. Once I expose this Zabadoo hoax, I may come back here and bag me a couple of those, uh, what you call them? Endangered species. <laughs> And you're not going to be fooling me with that hokey routine. <laughs> oh, you can take all that ratty costume, fella. No, that's not the guy in the ratty costume. That's the guy in the ratty costume. I think him. How's it going? Jabaku! Jabaku! Well, now we know why he's called the Zabadoo. Uh, 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 no, 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 I can't! Wait for me, mate! We all thought it was just a legend. And it turns out there's a real Zabadoo. 
Gee, he's not bad in the role. I don't think they'll be needing this. <laughs> because neither of them will ever tell anyone about what happened here. The Zabadoo? He's out of here. His job's done. Zabadoo. Zabadoo. I guess he's like Vito the pizza maker. Huh? Yeah, he shows up when he's really, really needed. <laughs> John, I can't thank you and Garfield enough. I want to spend the rest of my life helping the animals here, and you made that possible. Plus, you brought Odie back to me. Oh. Huh? Uh, you're... Oh. You're keeping Odie here? Well, of course. Huh? He's my dog. Yes. Yes, he is. John, you can't let... I mean... You... Here, Odie. Say farewell to your friend Garfield. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, too. But hey, you're back with your buddy Lyman. That's pretty good, huh? Oh, I guess we'll see you around, fella. No. If I'm going to get you to your plane in time, let me just say goodbye to Odie. I know you'll miss them. But think of all the great fun you and I are going to have together. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Angie. I wouldn't have missed it for anything, John. You're a good man. <clears throat> <laughs> Meow. And cats. Mm. Oh. Stay in touch. Please, don't look so unhappy, Garfield. The two of you are going home. Yeah, that's the problem. It's the two of us. I'm going to go upstairs and unpack. Hey, Garfield, how'd it go? Did you find Lyman? Is he all right? Yes, we found Lyman. Yes, he's all right. Oh, that's great. So, so why are you so glum? You look like you lost your best friend. Hey, where's Odie? Odie? I don't know any Odie. I'll fall when the days are short. Wow. Garfield, dinner's ready. It is not time to stay alone and despair. Gather with ones you love and care. Care. And share, don't despair, your parents and your friends, anyone dear, care and share, it's time now to make peace and forgive, care and share, care and share. Boy, you must really miss him. Well, I do too, but we have to get over it. This is probably the mailman with all the mail I had them hold while we were gone. Lyman! John, great to see you. You haven't changed a bit, I'm sorry to say. Neither of you. And I'm even sorry than ever about that. What are you doing? You left something important in Franistan, and I thought I'd retain it in place and here. Hody! <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back. <laughs> is that? Uh, no. I thought I heard... Ah, never mind. 
What? Huh? I just have to face reality, Odie. You're gone for good, and I'll never see you again. Is this another fantasy sequence? I looked at Odie's face, heard him sign, and I thought, he doesn't belong with oh. me. Sure, I used to own him, but now you own him. Garfield has no appetite. Garfield, not eating. Oh, that's serious. Well, it looks like I've saved two more animals. Speaking of which, I have to get back to Franistan. You can't stay? Wish I could. Tell you what. One of these days, I'll hire a temporary Zabadoo to fill in for me so I can come back for a real visit. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. So, Garfield and Odie are back together oh. again. You think it's just like it used to be? <laughs> there you go, boy. Go fetch a stick. Oh, oh that's great, Odie. Here it goes again, boy. Fetch the stick. Fetch the stick. <laughs> No, tomorrow it'll be just like it used to be. Right now, it's even better. Okay, here it comes a big one now. Go fetch a stick. Go, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mailman. And isn't it a lovely day? Right. <laughs> You're in a good mood, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm cooking dinner for Liz tonight, and we're going to have a wonderful evening. Life is good. Bye. Yeah, he's right. Life is good. I actually delivered the mail to Arbuckle without running into that cat of his. Ow! That's a special delivery. Welcome to the Mudball Express. <laughs> 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 I guess I should have been expecting that. Well, let's see if I can guess whose electric bill this is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Set the table for dinner. Check. Dust the TV. Check. Pick up trash from Garfield's mid-afternoon snack. Check. Uh, which brings me to the thing I've been putting off as long as possible. Give pets a bath. <laughs> oh, that was great. Anyone can build a house of mud. We built an entire shopping mall. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, guys, I baked you some lasagna. It's cooling off in the bathroom upstairs. Hey. Lasagna? <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Where's the lasagna? Hmm. Hold on a sec, Odie. I smell something and it isn't us. Why would John put lasagna in the bathroom unless... <gasps> it's a trap! <laughs> 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 Bath time! Bye! I don't care what you say or what you do! You are going to take a bath! Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take one just as soon as I get home. <gasps> What makes him think we need baths? We took baths, well, sometime this year. Hey, let's go see Vito. Maybe he'll treat us to a slice of pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. <laughs> oh, no, signore. We are not delivering for the next hour. I'm watching my favorite TV program, Complain, Complain with Eddie Gourmand. <laughs> Excuse me while I hang up. Hey, Paul! Oh, hey, Paul! Welcome back to Complain, Complain with me, Eddie Gourmand. This is the show where you, the public, can call in and air your complaints about anything. Except, of course, this show or my wardrobe. <laughs> I see where we have our next caller on the video chat. John Arbuckle. I know John Arbuckle. John, what is your complaint? And why do I think it involves your cat? My cat and my dog. They won't let me give them a bath, and boy, do they need it. So I'm offering a big cash reward to anyone who can give them a bath and return them home before 8 o'clock. I emailed you a recent photo of them. Ooh, we have that image. Take a good look at it. People of this fair city. Ooh oh, a big cash reward. You can make a lot of money if you find these two and bathe them. <laughs> Vito can do that. A big cash reward. Mrs. Schmidlap can eat salad tonight. I'm going to go find that cat and dog and give them a bath. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is give my cat and dog a bath. I'll give his cat and dog a bath. John is making a wonderful dinner for me tonight, Mother. What, strange? No, I don't think John is strange. Name one strange thing he's ever done. Please give my cat and dog a bath, please, please. I'll pay you. Somebody give my cat and dog a bath. <laughs> Mother. I'll talk to you later. Fortunately, no one will take him up on that silly offer. Is it me or is everyone acting weird today? Watch out, Odie! Oh. <sighs> Rats! What? Missed him by a hair! Hey, watch it, will you? What's wrong with all these people? <laughs> Come on! Vito's is right down the block here, and pizza cures all ills. Oh, God, I'm going to get a big cash reward! <laughs> <laughs> A Garfield, Odie! Oh, come in, come in. I'll make a special just for you. I don't care what it is as long as there's a lot of it. Oh, yes. Wow. At last, a decent sized bowl of minestrone. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what? This minestrone tastes like bath water. Yeah. In you go! Huh? <laughs> Come on, Pop. Vito, what's the soup of the day? <sighs> I think it is a me. Yeah! Why is everyone suddenly so concerned with their hygiene? <laughs> You two, get in the tub! Time to wash. And Ivy! What do you mean, wouldn't it be easier to just take a bath? <laughs> this is becoming a matter of principle. In the tub! <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. Are you upset? Oh. You idiot! You moron! You idiotic moron! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
We don't smell that bad, do we? <laughs> Darkenade lock, drop the soap and water containers. Calabunga! <laughs> Let's see what kind of trouble we're in now. Hi, huh? guys. It's Liz. Oh, oh uh, you guys look like you need someone to rescue you from all those people with soap and water and brushes, huh? <laughs> We're saved. Oh, this is great. <sighs> hey, this isn't the way home. I have to forget about Garfield and Odie for now. Liz will be here any minute. Where should I put the cake? Oh, that must be Liz now. I just wish I'd been able to get Garfield and Odie bathed before she got here. I'd like my big cash reward, please. What? I mean, how? The I, I deal mean, I mean... was a big cash reward for getting them bathed and bringing them back here. Here they are. Huh? But, 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 but uh, our date! I... I can't. I have to go to my hairdresser now and buy some new clothes. It's okay, John. Whatever you cook for her, we'll eat. Well, at least you two got washed, and that's a good... Oh, oh look oh. at John, all messy now. You know what he needs, Odie? A bath. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no, 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 I don't need a bath. I don't... Stop! I had a bath, it was, uh, I moved me before last. No, 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 stop, 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 stop,